Hi, Gemini. It's me, Sagittarius Soul Tarot here. I'm going to do your uh, general love reading for February 1st to the 7th. Okay, I'm mostly focusing on love, but it can be um, anything to do with, like, you know, finances and stuff like that, whatever comes through. Okay, so I'm going to do a word of the week for you, as well as, like, love advice and stuff like that, what's going on this current week coming up. Okay, I've got um, moon cards, i got zodiac cards you could be dealing with, messages, stuff like that. Uh, make sure you um, watch your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, or even a cross-watcher of this video. Okay, I'm trying to bring everybody good vibes, so let's hope some good stuff happen. Okay, I went ahead and lit my amber candles, so hopefully that brings some good energy here. Alright, so the word of the week for Gemini is clarity okay as i begin walking my path of self-discovery i find clarity with each step taken and new truths discovered okay so you could be getting um anything that's kind of confusing you you could be starting to see how things really are okay seeing the light when you have the dark maybe is what i'm getting from you um i know a lot of us are going through this transition i know i am starting to see things how they really are Okay, also with the Mercury in retrograde, you're starting to get like a reflection as well. Okay, people could be showing their true colors a lot here lately as well. Okay, so let's get some moon cards for Gemini. I got you're good enough, full moon in Virgo. I feel like some of you guys are testing or just feeling bad about yourself for some reason. You guys aren't really feeling like so good in your confidence, okay? Nothing will come of the situation. So something you've been stressing about, it's like nothing good's going to come of it. And then I have meditate and contemplate, new moon and Pisces. So maybe you guys need to do a lot of meditating, do a lot of yoga, stuff like that. Because I do feel like you guys need to work on like your mental health, okay, is what I'm getting here. Let's go ahead and get three cards also to do with like love and stuff, see what's going on. Okay, we got true love, heart to heart conversations. Okay, let's get one more. All right, you deserve love. Yeah, like I said, like I feel like you just don't feel like you're worthy of someone's time or attention, okay? Let's go ahead and start it off with Monday the 1st. What's going on for Gemini here in regards to love? Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords. So that is like the card of truth, okay? So you could be getting like new conversation about something here. Okay, the Tower, something's going to maybe take ch um, a change as well as the page of wands in reverse. So I feel like you're gonna start seeing something kind of more clear or whatever you find out, it's gonna be more, you're gonna realize how a situation truly is, okay? With the page of wands in reverse, you could like not want anything to do with this person anymore after what you find out, okay? Or you could just not wanna put the um, like any more time and effort into this, okay? Could be an air sign or it could be a fire sign here. So this Ace of Swords, you got the Ace of Swords again. So double clarity. So you are getting, you're starting to see something for how it is. Maybe, I feel like you, what's that um, that quote? Like seeing things through rose-colored glasses. I feel like that's kind of what like has been going on. You were like blindsided by something. And now the truth is coming out, okay? The Tower. All right, King of Swords in reverse. This person didn't really want to tell you the truth but i feel like you found out maybe from mutual friends or you found out from people that just were wanting to be honest and let you know maybe this person they were just keeping secrets from you they weren't being direct okay or they couldn't be kind of a jerk and like i don't know they could have just like avoided the question not being very honest is what i'm getting page of wands in reverse okay the ten of cups okay you could have seen it it could go either way, okay? I'm seeing either you found out something about this person, because now I'm starting to see with the Ten of Cups, it's nothing negative. I'm starting to, th maybe it's a person that you didn't think that had any feelings for you, okay? Maybe you felt like nothing really for this person, or you thought they didn't like you, or or it just could have been like a person around you that you didn't know that maybe they have true feelings for you, but they never showed it with the Page of Wands in reverse. And now maybe you're finding out from like mutual friends or people at your job, something's taking place that maybe you're finding out this person's like in love with you wants a family with you and sees you more because now i'm starting to see that it's nothing bad at first i was like okay this, is, this isn't good but i'm starting to think maybe 
a person you didn't think to have feelings for you has feelings for you. Because then I got the Seven of Swords in reverse and the Star when I cut it. So I think like this person sees you as a wish fulfillment. But they didn't want to tell you that. They were kind of afraid maybe of like their ego. Or they were scared that you didn't feel the same way. Alright, let's get Tuesday in a second. Alright, so this is starting to look good. I feel like you're starting to know truth here. Three of Swords in the reverse. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Wands reversed. Okay, I feel like this um, the situation revolves you letting go of something or like something you're healing from currently. And this person, maybe the person that I just was talking about, they're coming in to offer you something uh, stable. But it's like you guys are starting slow. This person wants to move slow when it comes to like feelings and the passion and stuff. They want to maybe kind of get to know you more on like a financial level or do things that have to do with money. Okay, maybe they want to take you on dates. And they don't want anything to be, like, too fast real quick, okay? So, why is the Three of Swords here in the reverse? Okay, we got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So, you could be moving on from something, but still not really feeling like you're stable in your, um, when it comes to your finances or this offer maybe of something new. You're kind of still not really sure if you're ready yet. So, like, maybe you're not completely healed from something, all right, why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Okay, Eight of Pentacles. This person wants to give you, like, a bunch of stability. They want to make you happy. They have the motivation and the drive to give you this here. Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay, the Page of Pentacles. This person's taking their time, I feel like. They're taking their time when it comes to you. It could be a person you've been friends with that you've known for a while. And this person's taking their time wanting to work on something here. I feel like... Not to be TMI, I feel like this person, if you haven't done anything with them sexually, I feel like you guys haven't done that yet, and they're wanting to, like, build maybe, like, more of a friendship going into a relationship. I feel like this person's taking their time. Maybe you both have been hurt because you're, like, moving on. You're trying to heal from a past heartbreak, okay? You could have been just friends with this person and didn't know they felt that way about you. Okay, let's go ahead and do Wednesday the 3rd here. This is looking good for you guys. Every time I say that, it goes bad, but... See, Wednesday the 3rd. Okay, 4 of Cups in the reverse. 7 of Pentacles, the Devil. Okay, so what I'm seeing is like maybe this is a person that you didn't take a chance on in the past. Or if you weren't open to love. It doesn't even have to be this person. I feel like you weren't open to love in the past due to like past heartbreak. But now it's like you're like open and ready to receive love here. You're ready to like invest in something. Watch it bloom. Watch it grow. Okay, but there still could be some kind of aspect to this that maybe you don't trust or something of that nature where it seems like it's kind of toxic. Okay, it could be the person has maybe like a drinking problem or they could be like moving on, like moving too quick towards you and that kind of is like stressing you out. Okay, why is it four of cups in the reverse? Okay, two of swords. It's like you're having to make a decision. That's like you're back and forth when it comes to this. It's like you're open to love, but you're also afraid, I feel like. I feel like you're back and forth wondering if, like, you're ready for a relationship. Seven of pentacles. Let's see. Okay, we've got the four of pentacles in the reverse. You could feel like you're not ready to, like, get into something with this person with their money. Like, you're not ready to maybe move in with them or something. Because you still want to kind of have your own share of money. You don't want, nothing like greedy, but you want to, like, have your money and then they have their money. You don't want to just, like, jump in and this person pays for everything. Okay, I feel like you guys want your own independence as well, your own money, security, so you don't have to rely on somebody. Okay, the devil. What's going on here? All right, you got the page of swords in the reverse. This person could be lacking communication or they could just be not really like a big, they could like not really be like speaking up much about how they feel or you guys don't have much of a communication going on. Okay, that could be some of the indecision. You're wondering whether or not this is like the right person for you. Maybe they're very like, they're not very like self-expressive when it comes to their emotions. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on Thursday the 4th. All right, what's going on Thursday the 4th for Gemini? Woo, seven of wands in reverse. That's good. Okay, it means that you're not wanting to be defensive, okay? But you got the ten of swords and the high priestess. Okay, I feel like you feel like you can trust this person, but you're not sure if you're ready 
for another something more serious because you've been hurt in the past i feel like whatever hurt you it's like it's still you act like you're fine from it everything's you know you're not like hurt anymore by it but i feel like it still like hurts you and it affects you to maybe even every day like you're still kind of affected in a way from it okay and you're using your intuition whether or not you're ready for something else here okay let's go ahead and do seven of wands in reverse but I feel like you're open to it. You're not, you know, scared of it. You're just kind of wondering if it's the right thing to do. Okay, with the judgment in reverse, you could feel like the timing's kind of a factor when it comes to this. You could feel like, um, like you're not wanting to be defensive, but it's like you're wondering whether or not if, like, you're ready for this or not, this person, if they're going to be gone by the time you kind of open up to them, okay? I feel like you're wanting to open up with them, but you're scared because of past pain. And it's like now you're wondering if you don't open up, if like the time is going to run out. Okay. Ten of Swords. Got the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you're wanting to maybe still focus on your own self. I don't know why I feel like you want to focus on your own stability and take care of your own self first before you invest in this. All right. You want to have your own money, your own stuff before you get into another relationship. All right. The High Priestess. What's going on here? Okay, you got the Page of Cups. Okay, so you do, there's water energy here. So you could be the water sign. But you're wanting to offer, you feel like it's the right thing to do to express your emotions, put something in. But you're not willing to invest completely because you still have the Queen of Pentacles here. So it's like you're wanting to like be where you show this loving affection and stuff like that. But you're that's as far as it goes. You're not wanting to like move in. You're not wanting to do anything that has to do with a full-on commitment okay you're kind of keeping this person at arm's distance i feel because you're kind of scared maybe something went bad in the past when it came to your money okay and you just feel like if you do that with somebody else again that this person's gonna hurt you in some way okay let's do friday the fifth what's going on friday the fifth three of swords knight of pentacles reverse knight of wands okay could be a thing where you're still kind of hurt, okay? You still have some heartbreak here. Okay, it could be something moves too fast, something passionate moves too fast here. And, you know, you just feel like it wasn't stable, okay? It could have been this person maybe wasn't offering you what you thought they were wanting to offer you. They could have been, let me get more into it, but I feel like something is hurting you here. All right, why is the Three of Swords here for Gemini on the 5th? Okay, the Strength. Okay, it's like you're moving on from some heartbreak here. Okay, you're trying to get your inner self back, but it's like you're still hurt by some situation. Could have been from the past or like something current. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, you got the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So, with the Knight and the Nine of Pentacles, makes me think that like you want something... You want, like, something stable here, okay? You don't want something, like, fast-moving, okay? You want somebody to take their time because I feel like you do want a relationship. You don't want to be single, but it's, like, you want to make sure you're healed properly before you invest into this, okay? And maybe you feel like with the Knight of Wands, it's starting to come off kind of quick, okay? Or faster than you expected with this person. All right, what's the Knight of Wands here? Okay, Ten of Pentacles, okay? Maybe it's coming in quick, this uh, stable relationship. It's moving faster than you thought it was going to. And you're having to use your own strength here. Okay, I'm not saying this is all going to happen within this week. That's crazy. But this could be, like, general. Okay, what I'm seeing, this could happen in the next couple of weeks for you. And it's like, I'm seeing it kind of before it happens, okay? But I feel like you are going to have the stability. You don't want to be single anymore. But you're having to, like, you know, move on from something in order to have this grow. Okay? So let's go ahead and do Saturday the 6th. Saturday the 6th for Gemini. Five of Swords, Ace of Cups, Hair Fit in Reverse. Okay. Before I make any... Because I'm kind of confused what's going on here. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle and then I'm going to clarify the Five of Swords here. So something seems like it's kind of... Someone's not being honest, okay? Or Okay, so yeah, the Seven of Cups in reverse. It's like you're getting clarity of this person, okay? You feel like this person is playing games with you, okay? Or you feel like 
something here just you finally see clarity for a situation for how it is this one's maybe a liar okay why is the ace of cups here it could have been from your past okay the ace of cups you got the four of pentacles i feel like you saw like a situation like maybe you're finally realizing the person from your past that they were like lying to you or something okay because i did get Okay, this could be something that you're starting to realize that somebody is a liar. Someone's like keeping stuff from you. You're getting more clear clarity on that. And maybe you're realizing how that relationship was and you're trying to move on from it. And it's like now this new person, you want this new love and emotion here. And you're wanting to like invest in it. Okay. Hair fit in reverse. Let's see. Okay, the tower. Okay. Could have been like you... We're afraid of commitment with this person, but now things are kind of shaking for you. You could have been like this person, this person wanted to invest in you and date you, but you were kind of like rejecting it. But now it's like something's going to change here, okay? I feel like some feelings are going to change or the way you feel about this is going to change. So let's see what happens Sunday the 7th. Okay, I feel like something's going to change when it comes to you like resisting this um, like higher commitment. I feel like you guys are just scared, okay? Like, you guys aren't really sure what you're wanting when it comes to this person. All right. Gemini for the 7th. Okay, Page of Pentacles, 9 of Wands, 10 of Wands. Okay, let's clarify the Page of Pentacles. All right, the King of Cups. You want to offer this love here, but you're afraid of... um showing it here you might be kind of scared to show this person how you feel because you're scared of rejection okay nine of wands okay it's like you're being kind of guarded here all right six of pentacles in reverse you're not really sure if this person's being like fair to you okay you feel kind of like something's being like we're stressing you out you're not really sure if you can trust this person maybe you feel like they have other people or they're involved in other situations all right why is the ten of wands here Okay, the hair fent. You're holding this baggage. Okay, you're carrying a lot of baggage because maybe you're stressed about where this is going to go with this person. Okay, um, maybe you're scared that, you know, it, it could later on relate to become an, a, like a marriage or a higher commitment. And you're wondering like how that's going to go. If like, I feel like you're the one that's the six of pentacles in reverse. And it's like, you're not sure if you can give this person what they want. Okay, or if you're ready to because you're so guarded i feel like you're guarded and you're not sure if you can give this person what they want i feel like this person they are into you and they really want to be with you before i do the love messages i feel like this person does want commitment but you're the one that's kind of scared okay what do they want to say to gemini what do they want to say to gemini got a few okay if you knew my dark past would you still want me all right i got my emotions are running away from me please work on yourself first yeah i won't wait forever make your choice so this person thinks like definitely they want this commitment but you i feel like you need to focus on yourself or is there something here you need to heal let me see what this person could look like characteristic wise this is explaining exactly what i th i thought like, I could just tell. All right, what does this person look like? Gemini. Could have short hair. Okay, it could be funny. They could have a nose piercing. Let's try to get one more. And they could be short, okay? They could have short hair, a nose piercing, funny, and they could have short hair. And let's get a couple zodiac signs for what sign they could be. Okay, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be a Capricorn or an Aquarius. Okay, so I have any of these signs here. So make sure you guys take what resonates, but they could be a Capricorn, Aquarius, or a fire sign. Um, make sure you take what resonates, but be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me. Um, make sure you subscribe and comment down below anything that helps you in this video. Um, hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for watching.